yes because of the interrupt interruption in the previous class i can not able to complete this okay we'll start now now it's working now no problem okay okay what we have done up till now we have studied what is the we will see what is the quadrilateral uh, the triangles quadrilateral the meaning of the definition of the quadrilateral means it has uh, compounds of the quadrilateral side it has four sides four angles four other this thing we have seen right the sum of the angle properly also we have seen the types we have seen right now we are doing the properties of the quadrilateral that is the first that is what uh, diagonal of this where this is this on this slide where we have stopped right we will continue from this slide let me check once again video is recording yes it's recording okay see these are the theorem okay so the first theorem tells us that a uh, diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two concurrent triangles see what the concurrent triangle means uh, this diagonal is dividing this triangle abc right triangle triangle a b c and and triangle a c d right the this is divided into this and these triangles are concurrent not concurrent sorry let me correct this uh, yeah i have doubt with this it is a congruence you know the congruence we have studied in the triangle what is the congruence means it is identical congruence okay in two congruent triangles means these two triangles are identical so the diagonal is dividing okay the quadrilateral this is of the quadrilateral if you draw a diagonal then it will be these two and triangles this and this triangles are congruent means this triangles are identical in shape okay that this first term is telling okay we'll move on to the second theorem what the second theorem is telling let me add the page the second theorem is telling us theorem number theorem number 2 what this telling let me please write down in a parallelogram in a in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal opposite sides are equal see what this in a parallelogram the opposite sides are equal this is what this telling means see oh, if i draw parallelogram like this the opposite sides suppose if i draw parallelogram like this right see in this parallelogram this side let me change the other color this side equal to this side and opposite this is opposite side right this opposite side equal to this opposite side okay means uh, here this is my abcd is a parallelogram abcd in this parallelogram ab the opposite sides ad opposite side ad and bc opposite side for p is bc and ab opposite sides ab and cd these are equal what is this the second theorem is telling okay now we'll move on to the third uh, with understanding this second theorem okay we'll move on to the uh, third theorem see in the first theorem let me uh, the, see you know uh, this angle the first and this angle also one more points i forgot to tell you in the first this this angle and this angle are equal right and this angle this opposite angle are also equal right this is also one thing i forgot to tell you okay now the, here the sides are equal in the second theorem okay we will see the third theorem what is the third theorem third theorem is telling us theorem theorem number 3 okay what this theorem if each pair of sides if if each pair of opposite sides opposite sides of a quadrilateral triangle opposite sides of a quadrilateral 
of a quadrilateral is equal is equal then it is a parallelogram this is simple then it is parallelogram parallelogram see what this is very simple see if these two sides are equal right these opposite two sides are equal then it is parallel else it is a trapezoid also right in the type we have seen see in this case this side see this side is equal to this side right and this side equal to this side so this is a parallelogram but uh, if these sides are not equal suppose the sides are like this right let me draw it correctly uh, yeah this is not this is called if these sides are not equal so i will call it as थेरम नंबर थर्ड ओके फोर्थ थेरम वॉट द फोर्थ थे In a parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. In a parallelogram, theorem number. These all are the properties. Okay, this comes from the theorem because it has a proof. That's why it comes under theorem. Okay. Now we'll see under the theorem number four. What is telling? In a parallelogram, in a parallelogram. In a parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. Opposite, opposite angles are equal. See, this is also very simple. If I draw one parallelogram, right? See, if I draw one, I will draw a square parallelogram. I will tell you. Okay, this is also a square. This square is also parallelogram, right? The opposite angles are equal. See, if I draw the divide this in here, this this angle and this angle are equal, right? See, this angle and this angle are equal. <coughs> sorry, sorry. And these are the opposite angles, right? In the parallelogram, and also see, this is a ABCD parallelogram, ABCD, and uh, BD is a diagonal. Okay, in the diagonal, the angle B, angle B. The bi this is bisecting and it's not bisecting. Okay, if it is a case of square, then it will be bisecting. Also in a rectangle, yes, in rectangle case also it is bisecting. Okay, okay, these two angles. What this theorem is saying? This angle and this angle are equal. Means angle angle CB CBD is equal to angle BDA. You understood this opposite angle. Equal. This what telling. Also, this angle are equal. This angle and this angle means this is opposite angle. Okay, these angles are equal. That is what this theorem for is telling. Okay, now we move on to the theorem number five. Theorem five. What the fifth number theorem is telling us? In a quadrilateral, if in a if in a quadrilateral each pair of opposite angles each pair of each pair of opposite angles is equal then It is a parallelogram. Parallelogram. What is telling? See, if each opposite pairs are equal, in a in a quadrilateral, if in a quadrilateral, let me draw one parallelogram here so that you will understand. Okay, if uh, if the again I will take example of the square. Okay, square is also parallelogram, right? 
this is a parallelogram uh, if if in a quadrilateral right square is a quadrilateral each pair of the opposite angles each pair of opposite angles c uh, in uh, let me divide this right like this each pair of opposite angles is equal then it is a parallelogram right means what this is saying uh, suppose i will draw one more this like this okay each pair means this is one pair of opposite angles right this is one pair and this is other, uh, this is one pair of opposite angles this and this okay let me take the name of this problem a b c d okay this uh, a pair of the opposite angles is equal see this angle and opposite angles this pair of opposite angles see this is one pair of opposite angle pair of opposite angles this is one the other pair of the opposite angles is this one right okay this one this one is other pair if these both are equal then it is called as a parallelogram okay that thing this theorem for you telling okay now the theorem 6 uh, theorem number these all the properties okay theorem number 6 what the theorem number 6 is saying is that if the diagonals of the problem bisects each other if uh, the the diagonals the diagonals of a parallelogram The diagonals of the parallelogram bisect each other. This is very simple, right? Each other bisects each other. See what this telling us that if I draw parallelogram like this, okay, uh, the diagonals. This is parallelogram ABCD, right? ABCD is my parallelogram. and the diagonal ac is the diagonal one diagonal and the other diagonal is this one right bd is the other diagonal so it bisects here at point y i'll call it as here what the bisecting right this point is o this is how what there means bisects each other these these are bisecting at point o right okay now we'll see the next theorem of the parallelogram theorem number Please write down these all theorems, okay? So these these are what the properties of the problem. If in the exam ask a question like this, uh, the, write the uh, two to three properties. So you have to write at least two to three properties. So you have to uh, keep it in mind all the properties, okay? Theorem number now seven. What the theorem number says? If the diagonal of the quadrilateral, if the diagonal Let me check my video is recording or not. Yes, it's a recording now. Also, yeah, okay, okay. We'll continue. If the if the diagonal, if the diagonals of a quadrilateral, quadri, if you are not understanding it, please ask. Put in the comments. Also, request you please subscribe my channel, quadrilateral. quadrilateral bisects each other then it is a parallelogram then it is a parallelogram right this is also very simple parallel per parallel parallelogram see if the diagonals of the quadrilateral bisects each other okay if it is not bisecting then it is not a parallelogram okay if it is by c it is here bisecting you know in the last i have seen this right see if i have taken the quadrilateral like this okay these are bisect bisecting see here how they are bisecting here right So if they are bisecting, right? 
by setting means making angles here okay equal angles in this and in this right this is the equal see this angle and this angle are equal right and this angle and this angle are equal okay and uh, uh, see the angles this length is what this is telling mm, this distance and this distance are and this distance are this angle distance are bisecting means at point o suppose i have taken this is what the ab series my parallelogram okay what this is telling if the diagonals of the quadrilateral bisects each other see uh, the this the diagonal ac the half this is distance this distance ao and ac distance ao is equal to oc right and bo is equal to od right this is what the bisecting theorem telling us so if it is bisecting then it is a parallelogram okay now we'll okay this is what the about what all about the theorems okay now what we'll do we'll one more theorem is remaining we'll see that also okay theorem number 7 not the theorem is 7 is over theorem 7 so not 7 it is 8 now 7 is over the quadrilateral a quadrilateral a quadrilateral is a parallelogram is a parallelogram parallel lo parallelogram if a pair pair of opposite sides pair of opposite sides opposite 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 sides is equal and parallel okay see for this theorem is telling that let me draw one parallelogram over here abcd my this is what my abcd is a parallelogram okay this is telling that abcd is my parallelogram okay and if i ac is my diagonal of the parallelogram okay a coordinate is the parallelogram if a pair of opposite sides c we have to pair of opposite sides is equal for the parallelogram this pair this is one pair right this is the other pair this both pair should equal right this should this should equal right then and then only can we can call it as a parallelogram okay this is very important these are the two pairs ad c in order to make a parallelogram this side should be also equal ab two pairs means this is one pair that is ad and bc is one pair right two sides and also ab this ab equal to cd right let me here also ad should be bc if this both conditions are satisfied right if this both both condition satisfied both condition satisfied satisfied then in then and then it is only parallel on satis you see satisfied then it is a then it is parallelogram right okay you understood this thing uh, this is what the eighth theorem okay this is all about uh, the parallelogram okay uh you know, with this we uh, the concept part we have seen uh, let me recap that what we have seen in this i try to cover you as per your syllabus of the quadrilateral i will try to cover the first i will uh, go through you the introduction part the definition of the quadrilateral what to which figure you can call the quadrilateral right for three points you can call quadrilateral that thing i first explain to then we will move on to the angle some property of the quadrilateral then we will see the types of the quadrilateral also we have seen the properties of the parallelogram right with this this thought the syllabus you need to study okay now before we will meet in the next class with 
the exercise part of the coordinator okay in the next class we will see exercise exercise of coordinator okay quadrilateral and before going i request you guys uh, if you like my lectures please hit the like button okay like share and don't forget to subscribe my channel okay subscribe my channel i will try to give you better and better content contents as we move ahead okay so it's it's also your duty to subscribe and share with your friends so that they will also get the benefit and also subscribe my channel okay if you subscribe me also uh, my channel will get motive uh, uh, monetize okay that thing i will get a benefit from that only but this is what the free classes i am providing you but you can only hit the hit the button of like okay share with your friends and subscribe my channel okay guys okay thank you and we will meet you in the next class okay thank you